Everyone ready? On three. One, two, three, Degrassi! There's a, like a high school reunion happening, a 35 year reunion happening. Um, and Emma and Liberty and many of the other old characters uh, come back for this reunion. And uh, there's a protest happening outside of the school and sort of true to her season one nature, Emma wants to join in on that protest. Um, and I think that there's like a little mention of whether Spinner and Emma have stayed together and th there's little ties to our generation of the show. I don't think we've ever really covered ra like racism in this way, mm. uh, especially because it's not someone blatantly being racist because they know they're being racist. It's like, like it, my character just doesn't understand that her act is racist and that's, I think, a really cool way to tell a story, like a villain who doesn't know she's a villain. And um, she learns through her best friend, which is also so important because it shows that whole like putting yourself in other people's shoes, which is also a main theme like in Degrassi. It's like understanding that other people have issues and not everyone's the exact same. Um, so I found that this episode was just, it was heightening that. People are the worst, but it doesn't mean I have to join them in the oozing pits of moral inequity. What? It's been really fun. I got to do nice. scenes with like Paige and Spinner, who were like two of my favorites. <laughs> And um, I also got to do scenes with Peter and Sav, who are like a little further down the road. So I kind of got a little taste of everything, which was super fun. Um, and they were all really nice and they were sharing stories about when they were here. And like, it's kind of cool to see the parallels, of, like how everyone interacted with each other. It was really fun. I think it's incredible. I mean, 500 episodes of any show is completely unheard of. And particularly a show from Canada that revolves around teenagers, it's, absolutely amazing that it's had this longevity and at the same time when you watch the show it's easy to understand why because all the uh, sorry all the issues can sort of be recycled uh, with a new spin depending on what decade we happen to be in um, and the way that the characters keep on changing and evolving there's just a, a revolving door of new kids coming in new issues new problems anything's possible I've got to get to class.